I purchased my 2021 Tesla Model 3 eight months ago, and I've been tracking the cost of how much I've been paying for my car and the fuel to put in it. Today, I'm going to break down exactly how much I have paid for my 2021 Tesla Model 3 long range after eight months. The first big cost is the car itself. I paid $50,540, which includes all of the fees for my Model 3 back in December of 2020. If you're interested in a full breakdown of all of the fees, make sure to check out my video, how much I paid for my Tesla Model 3. I will link it above and in the description down below. On the $50,540, I put down $12,000.70, which brought my monthly payments to $600 a month even. You do not start monthly payments till one month after purchasing the vehicle. So my payments didn't kick in until January of 2021. So far, I've paid seven months payments at the $600 per month, bringing the grand total of monthly payments to $4,200. Then I already put down $12,000 when I purchased the car. So the total amount I have put into the car thus far has been $16,000. $200. Now you do not have to put down as much money as I did, but I highly suggest putting down at least 20%. This allows your car to always be worth more than you owe, which puts you in a much better position in case anything were to happen to your situation or your car. Now for the electricity. I have put 6,762 miles on my car thus far, and I've been using both at-home charging and superchargers. I was able to go on tesla.com and see exactly how many miles I've supercharged, which was 2,000 25 miles or 29.9% of total miles. Like many of you know, I do not have fancy at home charging and have been using a standard 120 volt outlet and it's working pretty great for me. My at home charging costs do fluctuate with the time of year and the time of day, but I'll be using an average for the sake of this video. Since I at home charged about 70% of the time, that is equivalent to 4,737 miles. And according to Edmunds EV testing data, the 2021 Tesla Model 3 long range has an EPA estimate of 25 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. Therefore, I have charged at home 1,184.25 kilowatt hours at an average rate of 11 cents, making the total spent $130.27. Just to compare, if I was driving a car with 30 miles per gallon and drove 4,737 miles at an average gas price of $2.90, I would have spent $457.91. Now let's calculate the supercharging cost. I just want to thank you guys for using my supercharging link, which has allowed me to save money here. But I will calculate this as if I paid for every mile for the purpose of this video. I supercharged 2,025 miles at an average rate of 24 cents per kilowatt hour. The rate of superchargers also fluctuate, but they haven't really changed much since I have personally been using it over the last eight months. I then will take the 2,025 miles and multiply it by 0.25 to get the kilowatt hour. That gives me 506.25 kilowatt hours, and then I will multiply this by 0.24 cents to get the final cost, which is $121.50. Finally, in total, I spent $121.50 on supercharging and $130.27 on at-home charging for a total of $251.77 spent on electricity. The next cost is the insurance. Teslas are known to be more expensive to insure because they're constructed of fewer parts than typical cars. So if one small piece is damaged on your car, then a large section of the car may still need to be replaced. My 2021 Tesla Model 3 monthly insurance cost is $65.37 a month. You must start paying this as soon as you purchase the car. So I've paid my insurance for eight months now, making the total spent on insurance $522.96. You will definitely want to shop around for the best price. I have mine bundled with our Tundra truck and our house, so it did help drop the price a little bit. Now, just to recap. So I spent $16,200 on the down payment and monthly payments, $251.77 on charging, 
and $522.96 on insurance for a grand total of $16,974.73. I hope this helps you see exactly how much I spent so far on my Tesla. I'm pleasantly surprised by the charging cost so far and I've really loved not having to go to the gas station. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like down below as it really helps out my channel. Also make sure to subscribe as I post Tesla videos weekly. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.